Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, listening to this presentation. My name is Bien Plombeg, and I'm presenting today on behalf of me and my colleagues, Umak Haji Musalo and Neil Cohn from Tilburg University. I'll be presenting today an article that was recently published in uh, August 2022 in Discourse Processes. Um, this is a study on the flow of information in visual storytelling, like in comic narratives. This study investigates how comic books around the globe present um, characters, spatial location and time within visual narratives. And to what extent there are different patterns of continuity for these three dimensions. The article is titled Running Through the Who, Where and When, a Cross-Cultural Analysis of Situational Changes in Comics. And it is this title that will divide the presentation for today. So first, we're going to tell you something about the processing of narratives and of situational dimensions in general, uh, and then move into the methods of all corpus analysis. Uh, so it is a corpus analysis, but in the end, we also touch upon some implications for processing that might be suggested by your findings. The last part, of course, is these findings um, of uh, situational patterns in visual storytelling. So first, situational changes in comics. When we're reading narratives, um, also visual narratives, readers track certain bits of information, like characters, spatial location and time. There are, of course, more situational dimensions, but these three are the main ones we've selected for this study. These also co-occur within a panel, often showing characters within a certain location uh, at a certain moment in the story. Coming across this information, in a nutshell, readers will process this into their uh, semantic memory and feed it in a situation model. This is a mental representation of the ongoing scenes. With every incoming piece of information, uh, then this process is repeated and uh, new information is added to the situation model. And there are updating processes that make sure we can integrate this within the same model. Within um, or with every uh, following panel, this process again reoccurs. And this way we build a uh, comprehensive interpretation of the story. Now, prior research has found that when the uh, information that follows is uh, discontinuous, uh, this takes more updating effort. So again, it's fed into the situation model, but the updating processes are more extensive. So greater discontinuity uh, also makes uh, greater updating costs. Now, prior studies into situational changes in comics mostly looked at moments of change across panels. Uh, so this is an example sequence from Spider-Man. And for the first few panels, we can identify such changes. For example, across characters and scenes for panel one and two and panel two and three. This prior corpus work also looked into um, cross-cultural differences across these moments of transition and they found that Asian comics show more changes between characters than American and European comics. For instance, this is just an example of one of their results, but ultimately uh, they found that Asian comics and American and European comics had some differences in storytelling. However, here we are looking at moments of transition only. If you look at this comic's last few panels, we see that we then uh, remain in the same location and we see the same characters throughout the last few panels. So instead, this work wants to look at uh, extended periods of the same information that's being repeated, rather than moments of change. This way, we look in the general flow of storytelling and we will see if this uh, mimics the results found for moments of transition. So what does that look like for our study? Um, let us look at characters. For the first few panels, indeed, we can find some discontinuity because we change the characters we see across panel. We first see the woman, then we see the building. So characters change across these first two, three panels. Uh, for the next uh, few panels from three to four and four to five, 
we see that some characters are maintained. So the woman occurs in every one and the man is omitted and then added again. So we have some continuity, some discontinuity, and we refer to this as a partial change in characters. Some things are maintained and some are changed. For the final two panels, we see that we have the exact same two characters across panels. And we refer to this as a run of information, a string of the same information. So these two panels together form one uh, run of two panels. Uh, same thing goes for if you look at space, we can recognize some discontinuity across the first panels. We go from the streets to this building um, and some partial change when we go from the outside of the building to the inside. For the last four panels, we remain in the same room, which again constitutes a space run, a sequence of the same information repeated across panels. Now for both characters and space, uh, repetition of the same information is a sign of continuity. For a final factor of uh, time uh, or dimension of time, this works slightly different. If we would repeat the same moment across panels, this would result in a, in a story that does not move forward. But of course, we expect stories to progress naturally uh, throughout time. So for time, um, we would expect to see different moments across panels, which would uh, result in continuous storytelling. And this continuity would be when time would be halted across panels. So for this example, we find that we have a time run of six panels as the story continues on every panel and shows different moments. So the story continuously progresses. Um, yes, so this is the way we analyzed uh, our sequences, um, which give rise to different types of variables that we look into. So the first variable is the average run length, uh, which refers to how many panels consecutively are part of a run. So for character run, we have uh, a run length of two panels for space of four and for time of six. So for average run length, we took the average length of runs um, across a whole book. Our second variable is the run panel proportion, which refers to the uh, amount of run panels uh, or amount of panels that are part of a run wherever they occur relative to the total amount of panels within a book. Our um, other methods then, of course, included our corpus. So we looked at a total of 342 books across nine different countries. Uh, more information about this corpus can be found on the Visual, Lab, uh, Lang Visual Language Lab website. So we applied our two variables of run length and proportion to this data, and we looked at runs for characters, spatial locations, and time separately. Uh, as I also mentioned, uh, these dimensions co-occur within a panel, so we also considered two interactions. The first interaction was moments where panels showed complete continuity, meaning that there was temporal continuity and exactly the same characters and space across panels. The second interaction is then the opposite, where we have complete discontinuity. So there was a discontinuity in time, and characters and spatial locations also changed across panels. These types, uh, these then resulted in five run types that we looked at. So our findings of uh, situational patterns for who, where, and when. Across all books, looking at these three factors, we found that temporal and spatial continuity persisted longer than uh, character continuity. Um, and this also went for the run panel proportions, where we have greater proportions for time and spatial location uh, in relation to characters. So overall, we do see a general progression in time in narratives, uh, mainly the same spatial locations, uh, but frequent changes in characters. As a second, more general analysis, we also looked at a um, correlation between average run length and run panel proportion. 
uh, and as we found a signif uh, significant result, um, this shows that more run panels in a book overall correlate with longer runs. So typically, the more run panels we have in a book, this means that they uh, occur within longer runs uh, overall. Of course, we also conducted our cross-cultural analysis. So as I mentioned, we included nine different countries in our corpus, but we grouped these together into three regions, Europe, Asia, and the United States. Within the United States, you will see that we also have OEL manga, which stands for originally English language manga. So uh, books that are written to be like manga, but by English speakers. For this presentation, we don't go into depth about the results related to this uh, particular type, so we just unite them as books from the United States. If you're interested in more findings um, related to OEL manga, you can of course look into the uh, paper. Or ask all questions after the presentations, of course. Um, so considering complete continuity, where we have continuity across time, same characters and same location. Um, first of all, we found um, that stretches of complete continuity were relatively short. You can see in a graph that they're about two panels long. Then we also found cross-cultural differences with American and European comics having long, uh, the longest continuity runs. For run panel proportion, this was uh, relatively the same as American and European comics had the most continuity panels as well. Um, so overall, European and uh, Asian comic, uh, European and American comics appear a bit more continuous than Asian ones. For complete discontinuity, uh, for average run length, again, we found relatively short uh, sequences, also just about two panels long. Um, and Asia and American comics have the longest discontinuity runs. And here, the United States had the most discontinuity run panels, followed by Asia and then Europe. So overall, it seems that Asian comics display more constant change than European comics who had the um, least discontinuity, and they appeared the most, um, well, to put it shortly, uh, uh, repetitive in showing the same information across panels. American comics then appear somewhat versatile, having similar discontinuity lengths to Asian comics, but also similar continuity lengths to European ones. So these seem to strike a balance between sustaining and changing information across panels. We then look at our three dimensions separately, starting with uh, character runs. We find that again, the sequences uh, of similar inf same information are relatively short here, between two and three panels. Uh, also, European and American comics use longer character runs than Asia. This is reflected in the run panel proportions where they also use more character run panels than Asia about 46%, so a bit less than half of books um, included panels part of character runs. Looking at, at spatial location, uh, the average run length went up, now around seven panels on average. Here, the Asian comics used the longest location runs. And similarly, they also had the greatest run panel proportion. Um, this also went up, um, about 85% of uh, panels in a book were part of location runs. For time runs, these had the longest run lengths, uh, between 11 and 12 panels. Here it were European comics that used the longest time runs. Also, the um, American comics this time had the most uh, panels part of a time run, also about 85%, so similar to spatial locations. Summarizing these results, we find that the flow of information differs per situational category. Namely, uh, time had many panels, uh, many run panels in a book, and overall long 
uh, lengths. A bit longer than spatial location, you also had quite many panels in a book, part of a uh, spatial run, and characters were fairly short, switching characters often uh, in a book. So there seems to be some graded relation between these dimensions. Perhaps that characters change frequently within the same locations, and that, that these locations uh, then embed within uh, temporal continuities. We could ask ourselves to what extent are such situational patterns in a coded in cognition? If these indeed occur in a corpus, readers will come across these all the time. So to what extent do these account, do they account for these in processing? The second uh, finding was that the flow of information differs also per region. We found that European and American comics generally had the most character continuity and most temporal continuity, while Asian comics then maintains uh, spatial continuity the most. So again, we could ask things like, are cross-cultural patterns encoded in our cognition? And how do these patterns fit then with the existing models of narrative comprehension that we showed you at the beginning? Um, diving a little bit more into these questions. Uh, first of all, it may be the case that these relative manifestations of situational dimensions inform expectations of readers. Perhaps that they indeed encode these patterns that they keep coming across and maybe account for them in processing. We could, for example, expect that frequent temporal discontinuities could be more effortful to process than frequent changes across characters. Uh, studies of film and verbal narratives already shown such differences in the effects of situational shifts. For example, with time shifts increases, increasing processing load more so than spatial shifts. Uh, second, the situational patterns may even interact with the cross-cultural patterns that we found in this corpus work. So frameworks of visual narrative comprehension generally describe this kind of uh, image that we showed you at the beginning, where more discontinuous information is more effortful to process. So based on these findings, we may perhaps expect that uh, Asian narratives would be more uh, demanding to process as these included uh, character and temporal discontinuities and were shown to have more discontinuity overall. However, um, we may again expect as readers, um, well, uh, engage with these kinds of uh, patterns and maybe account for them during processing. So perhaps they habituate to the structures patterns that they come across, which could then lessen the updating cost associated with these discontinuities. Uh, moreover, uh, we could expect that readers of different comics would then um, face different challenges when they engage with other literature. For example, Asian comics could be difficult for Western readers to get into, given the greater temporal discontinuity that they may find there. Or similarly, Western comics could be more effortful for Asian readers, given the relative high amount of spatial discontinuity. Such questions would be a great avenue for future psychological research to investigate what effect readership has on cognition. To what extent does uh, cross-cultural conventions influence processing? And to what extent does experience with comic reading or exposure to these patterns affect processing? Uh, most Discord models currently just describe the general processing uh, related to segmentation and updating uh, as then prompted by situational changes. Um, but just the general processes may perhaps not be enough to account for the cross-cultural patterns and general patterns that we found in this corpus work. So this gives rise to the question of how would we account for these situational patterns? Are they stored cognitively? Um, and how would this work if indeed authors and readers encode this kind of information? Uh, this brings us to the end of our um, presentation. I thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, we would love to answer these. So please don't hesitate to uh, raise your hand or get in touch. Um, you can also contact me via my email shown on the uh, left hand corner. Uh, I also have a website detailing more about my own uh, thesis work, 
But for more information about this uh, paper and our lab's work in general, you can also visit uh, visuallanguagelab.com. Thank you.